I'm Mike Tolliver for ICOC Hot News. Things are definitely heating up in the Ivory Coast today. Back in November, Alassane Ouattara and Lohan Bagbo ran for president. Uh, no apparent winner resulted from the election, and fighting has broken out. Alassane Ouattara, who is recognized as the winner internationally, has actually taken over now most of the country and is fighting it out with the troops loyal to Bagbo in the streets in Abidjan. Right now, everyone in the church in Abidjan, in our congregation there, is they are huddled in their homes. They are hearing fighting and uh, bombs exploding and artillery going off in their neighborhoods. It's very dangerous. They cannot, be move, they cannot move around. They're being told to stay indoors as fighting rages in the various neighborhoods. Hervé Florent, evangelist in San Antonio, has been in contact every day and was in fact up all night on the phone with Abidjan, and he fills us in on how the disciples are doing. Hard pressed, uh, the stores have been looted, homes are being looted, the prisons have emptied, uh, and all, all the while fighting is raging between the two sides. There are 100 disciples who are refugees at the church building as we speak, and these disciples are refugees from a neighborhood called Abu Bull, where Two weeks ago, fighting was raging, and so they evacuated to the church property and have been, been taken care of by, the, by other disciples in the area. Well, now they have food for about three or four days there at the, at the property, and that's about it. And so these disciples are in desperate need. And so and we also have 300 disciples who have left different neighborhoods in the city and who are seeking refuge with relatives and other disciples. And so the, our brothers and sisters really need a lot of help. In the last couple of days, the prisons have been emptied and thieves are now roaming the streets. The battle is raging and also people are also battling to defend their homes against the thieves. Uh, during the night, uh, Eric LeBaire, one of the evangelists in the Abidjan church, reported that not only was there gunfire and artillery fire, a, a bomb actually exploded down the street from him. Thieves came to his house uh, to steal. We'll let Eric fill you in. We caught up with Eric on Skype. They tried to, um, to, to force a, a door and then just want to, to stall uh, my car. So he just gave them the key and they, they left with the car. And they also stole other calls from the neighborhood. The man who appears to have won the election, Alassane Ouattara, who, and he is also apparently winning the battle for Abidjan and the Ivory Coast, is actually staying in the Gulf Hotel protected by UN troops. Not far from him lives one of the members of the board of the Abidjan Church, Emil Ngoran. Um, he was up all night as the battle raged there as they attacked the Gulf Hotel in retaliation for an earlier attack uh, that day. Uh, he describes how the disciples there have no food, uh, how people are fleeing battles in different neighborhoods, how there's no cooking gas to, uh, to cook with, uh, and Emil describes a little bit what the situation is like on the ground for the disciples. So the big problem is food, just food, because maybe we will stay at home uh, for three or four days. So food, food problem will become very, very, very hard. Hope Worldwide is, of course, standing by and ready to help these disciples in this situation in the Ivory Coast. And if you would like to donate to this, uh, to help the disciples in the Ivory Coast, then please go to www.hopeww.org. Randy Jordan, CEO of Hope Worldwide, fills us in. There's a desperate need for food and clothing and shelter. And your donations are going to make a big difference in our ability to render that care. We set up the bank accounts. We set up the ability for people to give on our website. And uh, we just urgently plead uh, with all who can to make a donation to support the work in Ivory Coast. Brothers and sisters, a call for help has come out of Abidjan in the Ivory Coast. Uh, currently, 1,950 disciples across that country are in grave danger. We pray that your church will be praying and that you would consider donating to help these disciples to get back on their feet as soon as the fighting ends. Please think about going to www.hopeww.org. We'll be keeping you posted here at ICOC Hot News and at Disciples Today. God bless.